My current work project, something I'm super excited about, it's spinning some thread ply yarn from some Shanico wool with sparkle added in that I'd set aside for my own personal projects or for the hand spun subscription. While spinning in the living room, I get to watch this insanity with uh, the new puppy trying to get Jolene to play with her. And uh, that's not going her, nearly as well as my yarn spinning, as you can see, but at least it's amusing for me while having a project to work on. I absolutely love thread plying yarn. My first step is always spinning a uh, fairly even, sometimes I do it more thick and thin, single ply. So you can see this is the single ply with the sparkle, which has worked really well through it, so it's not, you know, like chunky or sticking out. So here you can see a little bit of the sparkle in my single ply. I am uh, just love how this is coming together. And then the fun part of thread ply is when you're literally just ply your single ply yarn with some thread. You can use lots of different types, but it makes these really cool spirals. And you can either feed the spiral where it's a tighter spiral, more like making beehive yarn, or you can do it sort of loose and go for waves. There's lots of different variations you can do. I absolutely love doing thread ply yarn. If you would like to learn more in depth about doing art yarns or thread ply yarn, I definitely would say go check out on my website, my dream yarn uh, course, which is monthly and you know, it's eight bucks, you can quit any time. Or if you just want a inexpensive standalone course on art yarn, I have one of those too. I absolutely love getting more in detail with this sort of thing. And I especially love making it for my subscribers with the hand spun yarn subscription. My mom spins a lot of the yarn because she really loves spinning and that's something she likes doing for the hand spun yarn subscription, which people love to get for either their own crafting or for gifting. Uh, so that's a good tip. We sell a lot of that sort of thing around the holidays, but I supplement in my own spinning with fun projects like this. This is a requested topic that I get, which I always kind of forget about, which is what do you do with the end of your yarn tail? You can see for this thread ply yarn, I just tied a uh, loose loop and had to get my tail untied there and then just did a second knot. So I did two knots of literally just tying the single ply to the, the thread and then you can use it as, you know, pull it through. You can see that there's really, it's not like fighting to unravel. It has a really nice even hand feel to it, which is another reason I like thread ply. And uh, I thought this looked so pretty with the amethyst I have. They matched. They had the perfect sparkle. This sure was an enjoyable project for Monday, and I just absolutely loved getting to do something that was so fun. And I'm glad that we got to cover a topic that wasn't so techy, <laughs> because there is so much of both sides to what, you know, having a creative home-based business, both the tech stuff and then the creative part.